Hello. So I've had an idea. Basically, I'm really negligent with my skincare routine and I want to actually hardcore do it every single day, twice a day for a month and see if it makes a difference. Because if it does, I might actually be motivated to do it more often. If it doesn't, well, let's just hope that it does. <laughs> so first off, um, I did a little restock um, of some things. So I'm gonna show you my little haul. Um, this is from a website called Sociola. Um, they have a lot, a lot of different brands. I guess it's like Sephora, but for like less um, expensive brands. <laughs> so um, first of all, I'm just gonna get these out of the way. I got a banana boat tanning oil. This is like SPF four. So I do like obviously use an actual sunscreen with it, but I kind of just really like the smell of this. Um, same with this is the Vaseline. What is it like cocoa, cocoa radiant. Anyway, um, these were just cause I was buying stuff anyway. So I thought I would show you anyway, onto the actual skincare. There's only one product that I've never used before because um, I know you're not supposed to like um, introduce a load of new products but I really wanted to try a vitamin C serum so I got this one it's by a brand called the Aubrey basically I chose this one because I read that you need to have your vitamin C in like light proof packaging with a pump because when light gets to the serum it like stops it for something so yeah I got this one um it's 10 percent. i don't know so i know if something mad goes with my skin it's probably gonna be this um but you never know because i have taken a little pause in using some of these products um the next thing is inspired i guess by pretty pastel please i'm speaking so fast i'm getting out of breath relax girl um it's the cause rx snail Cream. I have used this before ages ago and I forgot how much I loved it um, so I got it again to use because the moisturizer I had been using um, it's the Hadalabo Hyaluronic uh, acid one it was just making my skin feel like sticky and like dirty I don't know why <laughs> Um, and I've also decided not to use a moisturizer in the day because I live in a really hot, humid place and um, I also have my sunscreen, which is basically a moisturizer. So that's been abolished from the routine. And anyway, I just wanna show you this. How satisfying is that? Anyway, so I'm really excited that I watched her video and got reminded about this. So that's that. Then, like I said, this is like one of my favorite products. Um, it's the Biore Watery Gel 50 SPF Moisturizer. It's so good. Love this. And this is a really big one, actually. I didn't realize. And then the last two things, I got some face oils. Um, I got rose hip oil because I have really bad like scarring from when I used to have really bad spots before. Um, I do still get spots occasionally, but it's more of a like, oh, I've got a spot rather than, oh, another day, another spot, you know? So I got that. Um, I used to use this all the time, stopped. So I'm gonna get back into this one. And I also got Tamanu oil. This is supposed to be really good for like anti-aging and you know, not as young as I once was. Um, oh, and I also got these little samples from Cold RX. Let's see what we got. And they're all cleansers. We've got Calming Foam Cleanser. Oh, the Snail Gel one and the Pure Fit Sika, Sika? I don't know, cleanser. So those might be good for traveling, actually. That's all the new bits I got. Now I'm gonna take you to the bathroom and we're gonna go through the morning routine. I'm having to like crouch a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna put in my Ooh, before pictures of my skin. And I'm gonna update once a week, just so this video isn't like seven years long of me washing my face every single day. But first up, I use a foaming cleanser. Um, I know some people don't like these because they be, uh, can be quite drying, 
but I find this one isn't. It's from a brand called Cal, I think, or Skin Life. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll try and find like links to products in case anyone's interested. But yes, it's like really foamy, obviously, and it like smells like grapefruit. Not like really strong, plasticky grapefruit, like fresh. So yeah, I like damp my face a little bit. Oh no, no, it's going. I heard you're supposed to like do it for like, oh sorry. I heard you're supposed to do it for like 30 seconds to make it like effective. So let's try that. Okay, washing off. Look at my nose. <laughs> Patting dry. That was, that was quite an aggressive pat. <laughs> I did quite a bit of research into like the order you're supposed to do everything in, like when you're layering products. Um, I don't know what I'm doing though, so this could be really wrong. From what I saw, vitamin C before niacinamide. Um, and if you're using vitamin C, you need a sunscreen, which this is replacing the, um, hold on. This is the moisturizer I was using in the morning. I used to really love it, but for some reason it's just, not working for me anymore. Anyway, we're gonna go in with this vitamin C. It's the first time I've used it, so. Oh. One pump, I guess. Oh, oh, that's a weird texture. It's like super light, super light. Hmm, not really smell of anything. Yeah. I'm gonna leave that to soak in. It's been a couple minutes, so I'm gonna go in with the Ordinary 10% niacinamide, 1% zinc. Um, I think everyone uses this because of um, Hiram, right? My main skin concerns are like, obviously all the scarring, um, every really big pores. Also, it's just a bit like dull. Um, and also some fine lines on my forehead. I'm gonna call them fine lines. If anyone calls them wrinkles, I'm gonna block you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have like quite a lot of skin concerns and I think it's just about time I took my skincare seriously. I'm gonna show you my like two versions of my nighttime routine tonight, obviously. Um, but yeah, we're gonna finish off with our sunscreen. Um, should probably wait a couple minutes, but I'm a bit impatient this morning. So look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So stupid, one second. Okay, I'm back. Honestly, if God had given me a brain, it would have been over for you guys years ago. But yeah, so this is like the consistency or on me. It's like super, how much are you supposed to put? Is that enough, too much? It's like super like runny and liquidy as the name would suggest. We're gonna work that all in and down the neck. I'm not actually going out anywhere today, but I'm in front of a huge window all day. Um, and also apparently like, don't forget your ears. Your computer gives you like UV, I don't know. <laughs> I should really be more knowledgeable about this, right? Okay, I should have definitely left that niacinamide to soak in a bit more because the sunscreen isn't. But now we know for tomorrow. Okay, that's soaked in a bit more now. Um, yeah, so that's the morning routine. I feel like it's pretty quick, which is what I need, but hopefully it's effective. <laughs> Day one, well, morning one, done. I will see you, oh, message. <laughs> I will see you tonight for my night routine. Bye. Hello. So it's actually not the same night, it's a week later. But this is on purpose because I looked back at like the footage I've already got and I felt like it'd be really long if I like reviewed, if I did like the morning and the evening every week. So I'm just gonna do one check-in a week. So it's been a week. My skin looks great here, but we're in awful lighting. So um, I took some pictures this morning around the same time as I took the originals. Um, so it's like the same lighting. Um, and hmm, I'm gonna start on my skincare while I'm talking about this. 
So in the evenings, um, I do like an oil cleanser first. I use like straight up oil, like either coconut oil or I'm leaving, using olive oil at the moment. Then I use my same foam cleanser again. Um, then I have like two evening routines. So on one, I use um, a retinol. It's actually a retinol, I don't know. Um, this is like a prescription one that you get over the counter. I'm well into my 20s, closer to 30 than 20. So I decided to start on like a really, 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 really low percentage. Um, obviously with a prescription. Um, but there are obviously over-the-counter ones like um, the Ordinary and stuff. So on one night I use this um, and then the other night I use a glycolic acid. So I'm going to put on like a pea-sized amount of this. I'm sorry it's so dark but like the sun goes down at night. There's not much I can do about that. Anyway, I'm going to rub that in and not forget my neck this time. My before and after pictures of like one week, I feel like my spots have got worse. I don't know if that's like a purging phase, but like, especially around here, these didn't go down. Um, but I do feel like the like lines, the fine lines on my forehead have gone down a bit. Um, I now actually leave this to soak in for like 10 minutes or so. Um, I did forget to do my skincare one night. It was on Saturday night. I'm sure you can put two and two together. Um, so I'm going to leave this to like soak in for a minute and I'll come back. Hello. It's been a few minutes, so we're going to do the next steps. I use this, um, the Cause RX Advanced Snail Cream in the evenings. I think this is what's contributing to getting rid of like the fine lines. Um, because my skin uh, does feel like really, it's like so stringy and gloopy. My skin does feel like super plump. Ooh, oh gosh, wow. Let's make sure that's not the thumbnail. Um, my skin feels like super plumped in the morning. Um, and it just feels beautiful going on my skin. And then finally, I have two different facial oils I use. This one is Tamanu oil. It's supposed to be like good for aging and stuff like that. And then on the nights where I use glycolic acid, so like every other night I use um, rosehip oil. And this is all like a, it's got like a weird color to it. You won't be able to see, I guess, but, and then I like, pat this on sorry i'm really using that thing there um i read that in like a thing that told me what order to do my skincare that you should pat your oil into your moisturizer but yeah so one weekend my skin feels a bit like more hydrated for sure obviously because i've actually been hydrating it but yeah I mean, we still got a lot of pimples, and I feel like we're getting some new ones, even. And these ones haven't disappeared. We're gonna go another week and see what happens, obviously. Today's the 20th of September, so I guess I'll see you on the 27th. Bye-bye. Hello, it's me again with my really bad lighting. So, another week has passed. It's now 27th of September. Um, a few things to talk about. One, I just want to give myself a little bit of credit for actually sticking to something for once in my life because I never do, but we're going to get on with our skincare while I chat. I don't know if I mentioned last week, but I also use olive oil to, oh no, not that much, um, to take off my, I think I said an oil, didn't I? I might have been using coconut oil last week. I use a oil to take off like the sunscreen and, um, well again, I wasn't wearing makeup today, but if I am wearing makeup. I also really used to like the um, body shine. I look like a tomato, <laughs> shiny tomato. Um, I also used to really like the um, Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Balm. It's still with my skin life. Um, yeah, I used to really like that. 
so I might get back into that actually I'm not sure so, this week's check-in um everything's been going better this week I haven't missed a single day this week obviously last week I said I missed one Saturday I even went camping and I took my skincare camping and I did it in my friggin tent um <laughs> I was re-watching the footage of it and honestly um one second you can tell that I didn't get a um a good night's sleep that night because <laughs> my face is all like <laughs> I also did get some sun this week with SPF obviously this is the first week that I've noticed like an actual like difference like the texture looks a lot better and also um yeah like a lot of the spots are going down and like no new ones had formed like I felt like my skin was maybe I mean I don't know if the whole like purge thing is real <laughs> well, obviously like I don't, know, I don't know the science behind it is what I'm saying so I don't know if that's what my skin was doing it felt it felt like that's what was happening but now it seems to be clearing up a bit which I'm super happy about um and also like it feels different oh like let me do my skincare um so for this one I used the ordinary glycolic acid and I used these like reusable cotton pads sometimes I just like pat it on because I feel like this maybe wastes a bit of product. This does make me go a bit red though. Um, but yeah, my skin like feels a lot plumper and softer. And I do think it is this moisturizer. I'm gonna leave this to set in a little bit. What else did I have to say? Oh yeah, one more thing. This is one thing that I've used for years. Um, my mum first bought this for me. I don't know how old it was, but it's the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. Um, it's so dirty. <laughs> and I feel like this really helps with like, um, breakouts. Um, I feel like it just like takes the redness out. Like it just helps calm them down a lot. Um, obviously it's a clay one, so maybe don't do it too much. It might dry your skin out. Um, but I have pretty like oily combination skin. Um, so I really, 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 really love this. Final steps for today, we're again gonna do our snail cream. I'm telling you, like, this is one thing that I will continue, oh, in my mouth. This is one thing that I will continue to purchase and continue to use now. I'm gonna leave this for a couple minutes and then, gosh, this is a six minute clip. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm just gonna tell you. I'm gonna get a couple drops of this rosehip oil, um, just like half a, pipette full um and yeah and just i will do this so just imagine i'm excited to see the progress for next week that's everything i will see you next week we're gonna do a morning check-in next week um because i've shown you both routines now so yeah i'll do a morning check-in i just told you that just go bye hello we have made it to the penultimate check-in so Let's wash the face one second. Okay, I just went and took the photos, but I thought I'd show you as well. Um, I've done all the check-in photos in like, why am I holding the camera like this? <laughs> I've done all the check-in photos in like, um, the same light around the same time after I've just washed my face. I haven't put any product on it, just like use my cleanser. Um, but yeah, I've definitely noticed a difference. Well, maybe not now actually. <laughs> Like my skin is a lot like plumper and softer and there's less, I guess it was like dehydrated and like that hydration has gone back in. I do still have like scars and this pimple just popped up recently. I don't know why. I also had, um, I think it's on this side, these little pimples that just wouldn't go away and they're finally like almost gone, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do, the rest of my skincare. What do we have to do first? So this vitamin C, I mean, I'm gonna do a full rundown of the products. I think I'm gonna continue to use everything. I feel like maybe I need something a bit more severe for the acne. I don't know, but maybe I just haven't been drinking enough water. Um, um, I also recently watched James Welsh's um, like, 
ultra hydration um, routine or something. And I've already found a new product that I want to um, incorporate. Also from CoolDirect, I'm um, really excited about my skincare. I mean, I did actually miss one day this week. I think it was at the week at the weekend. I was just really not feeling good. Um, and I got into bed at like three. It was on a Sunday, yeah. I got into bed at like 3 p.m. and just didn't really do much else after that. Throughout this whole thing, I've missed two nights and that's it. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that, um, I think. That's my check-in for the third week, I guess, like the end of the third week. Uh, I'm doing my sunscreen when this has sunk in. And yeah, I guess next week, will be my final check-in and conclusion. I'm probably gonna do it like the day after my, the final day, just so I can do it in like sunlight after doing the evening. You'll see. Okay, I'll see you in a week, bye. Hi, it's been a month, how crazy. On one hand, it feels like, wow, the weeks flew by so quickly, but on the other hand, the fact that I started that a month ago feels like seven years. So that's bizarre. Anyway, um, yesterday was the last full day of doing my skincare for a month. And I thought I would come back and give my thoughts. I've just done my skincare this morning, sunscreen included. Um, so first I'm gonna talk through the products, I think. And then I'll do like an, an overall thoughts of the skincare. I don't know. <laughs> um, so my morning routine, of course, was super simple. Ah, oh, I forgot my cleanser, one second. Right, I'm back. <laughs> so starting off with the cleanser, I love this and I've used this for so long. I've been through so many bottles and I think I will continue to use it. Um, I know it's something that a lot of people hate in that it's a foamy cleanser um, and it's got a, a pretty light fragrance, but it is fragranced. Um, but I really adore this product. I love how it makes my skin feel. It doesn't feel like too tight. Maybe if you had dry skin, you would have that problem. I'm not sure. I have pretty combination skin and I adore this product so much. Next step was this. So it's the Aubrey 10% Vitamin C. Vitamin? Do I say vitamin? Vitamin. I say vitamin. Vitamin C serum. I don't necessarily know if this made a difference. I think it did. Like, I do feel like my skin is a bit brighter. I mean, it looks really like glowy now because I've got sunscreen on. I will continue to use this. Um, I think this product was about six or seven pounds. Um, and I like that it's in like the good packaging for vitamin C. Um, so I think I will continue to use it, but I'm not massively sure if it's making a difference if that makes sense then every morning i was using the ordinary niacinamide um i love this product and i will probably always continue to use it again acne scarring and like texture is like the biggest struggle i have with my skin i mean i have one pimple two pimples <laughs> at the moment but like they don't really bother me so much it's more so like my scarring and my redness from when i used to have really bad skin um, so I will continue to use this. It's maybe not as effective as I would hope, um, but you know, it, it's just been a month. Like I'm gonna continue to use it. Um, and I like how this product feels on my skin. Final for the morning is my Bure UV watery gel sunscreen. I'm obsessed with this. I'm gonna continue to use it. Before I was using this, I was using the Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer and then like a Neutrogena sunscreen on top and I just hated the way my skin felt and the sunscreen left like a massive white cast um, and like my skin is like pale enough. It doesn't need any help with that. Um, so I'm definitely gonna continue to use this. This is one of my favorite products, a definite star recommendation um, if you can get it and it is SPF 50. So that's a great product, I think, a real recommendation. Now, moving on to the evening routines. So I had two, right? Um, so the first one, um, first evening I used glycolic acid by The Ordinary. 
I do really like glycolic acid and I feel like this helps um, when I have spots. Like if I get like a breakout, this helps to like reduce that. I'm wondering if maybe it's too harsh on my skin though. Um, my skin is pretty prone to redness and I don't know if this is like making it worse. Um, so I'm interested to maybe do a little bit of research further into <laughs> research. I'm going to watch Hiram's YouTube videos. <laughs> um, research into salicylic versus lactic and glycolic. Um, if anyone's got any experience with those products compared to each other, I'd love to know. Um, especially if you've got like a lot of redness. You can't really see right now. I'm going to continue to use this and I've used this for a few years. So yeah. Next, I'm going to quickly talk about this um, retinol. So last time when I got this from the pharmacy, I had a different one that was like a cream product. Um, and I went to a different dispensary and they gave me this one, which was like a gel, which I think I do prefer, but I'm not sure if the cream was a bit more effective. So I think I'm going to have to um, talk to the dispenser about it when um, I finish this one up and see what the deal is with that. But I'm not gonna to talk too much about this because it is a um, prescription product. Now, onto another star purchase. This is the Advanced Snail All-in-One Cream from Cause RX. I'm obsessed with Cause RX. When I finish this, I'll probably get the um, Cause RX Glycolic if I continue to use Glycolic because the ordinary is kind of hard to get here. Um, but this, I absolutely adore it's i think this is the reason that my skin is looking like so plump and like rehydrated um it's lovely to use i've barely even like scraped the surface of sorry it's really bright and um, i've barely even scraped the surface of this pot in a month so this is going to last a long time um i also want to get the spray I was watching um, James Welsh's like super hydrating routine and he uses the spray in between some of his products um, from the same line as this. So I'm thinking of maybe, is it exactly the same? Maybe not, it's like Centella. Actually, yeah, I think it's it's from Cause RX, but it's different. I definitely wanna get this. I'm also considering getting the like serum, like there's another snail cream one for in the mornings um but yeah i'm obsessed with this i love it this is another one these two are like my star recommendation products definitely um and then finally i'm going to quickly talk about these facial oils so i've got um rose hip and tamanu i thought i'd use loads of these but i just looked and it's like oh well, it's only up to like here um so these are cold pressed organic oils from australia apparently um, and I do like the feeling of using these and I do think they help with the hydration. Um, so Tamanu oil is supposed to be like really good for anti-aging and rosehip um, is supposed to be good for like scarring and things like that. So again, I am going to continue to use these um, after my moisturiser and just help like lock in that moisturiser. So that was a really long ramble about all those products, but I hope my opinions were a little bit interesting. Um, with regards to the whole project of doing my skincare for a month. So um, I'm someone that really struggles just to remember to do like basic things like doing my skincare. I have to like physically remind myself. Um, so this was a really good thing for me and I'm kind of, surprised how like well I did as if it's like a test and um, there was only two evenings that I missed well to be honest <laughs> there was one night where I did my skincare routine at like 8 p.m and then I decided to go to the gym after so obviously I showered after so I'm not really sure if that counts <laughs> but I did do my skincare routine um and so for me it was sort of forming a habit and um doing something that is caring for myself every single day um and yeah what i looked at like the very very before and the very very after pictures and i have noticed a difference um especially in like um my forehead like the fine lines like the plumpness i can feel a difference in my skin was i expecting a bigger difference I'm gonna be honest, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping like some of my redness and things would go away um, even more 
and like the texture would even out on my skin but alas that did not happen I'm really interested to hear any product recommendations you have though especially for like redness um and texture let me know about the whole acids things like which one is good um so yeah i'm gonna continue to do my skincare and i'm i'm hoping to do like a six month update and like see if it's any different again and like see what products i'm using and what i've stopped using um so yeah thank you for joining me on this month-long video it was actually super fun to make final thoughts these two best products thank you again for watching and i will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.